Assalamu alaikum, welcome to 18 Bangla. This is Afifa Faris Khan with the news first, these will be headlines. Election will be held in due time and none can stop it, says Prime Minister. She questions in Dr. Tariq Rahman as acting BNP chairman. Lawyers of Begum Khada Zia received certified copy of Zia Orfana's trust draft case verdict. Appeal to be filed tomorrow. Four Tar security will be enforced at Central Shohid Minar on International Mother Language Day, says DMP Commissioner. And several lag Bangladeshis working in Malaysia are in extreme uncertainty for not getting new passports. Now on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said election would be held in due time and none can stop it. She was addressing a news conference at Gonomhaban this afternoon about the outcome of her recent official visit to Italy and Vatican City. Referring to the imprisonment of BNP Chairperson Begum Khalda Zia in Zia Orfana's trust graft case, the Prime Minister said her government has nothing to do with it as the verdict was pronounced by the court. At this time, she questioned induction of Tariq Rahman as acting BNP chairman. Sheikh Hasna strongly criticized the BNP for resorting to fire terrorism and violence across the country after the election in 2014. Talking about Rohingya problem, she said, repatriation of Rohingyas has to be started before the monsoon sets in. The Prime Minister flew to Rome last week to attend the IFAD annual conference. She will also held a meeting with Pope Francis in Vatican City. Earlier in the morning, the Prime Minister took salute at the 38th National Rally and the Parade of Ansar and Village Defence Party at Shofipur in Ghazipur. Speaking on the occasion, she directed the Ansar members to be on guard to combat any situation ahead of the next election, reminding the important role to curb militancy and tackle fire terrorism of PNP Jamaat Sheikh Hasina urged the Ansars to discharge their responsibilities with bravery and sincerity. Later, the Prime Minister put on badges among the Ansars. Certified copy of Zior Fawn's trust draft case verdict has been published. Lawyers of BNP Chairperson Begum Khalda Zia received the 1,174-page verdict copy. From Judge of Special Judge 5 Court of Dhaka, Dr. Akhtar Zaman, this afternoon. The lawyers informed that appeal petition for bail would be submitted tomorrow. Earlier, on the 8th of February, the court awarded five-year imprisonment to Begum Zia in the case filed by Anti-Corruption Commission. Meanwhile, BNP policymakers have said the government is panicked apprehending failure of conspiracy of election without Khalid Zia. At separate programs in the capital, they alleged that the government is creating various obstacles so that Begum Zia could not get fair trial through higher courts. Jatiya Tabadi Muhila Dal held human program in front of the National Press Club demanding release of the chairperson. Our military secretary and business minister Badul Kader has said it is been peace party decision whether it to take part in the next election or not. At a news conference at the secretariat, he said any attempt of creating violence in the name of movement centering the next election would be resisted. A four-tier security will be enforced at Central Shohid Minar on International Mother Language Day. DMP Commissioner Asuz Zaman Mia stated this when he came to the Central Shohid Minar to inspect the security situation, urging all to abide by traffic rules while going to Shohid Minar in the interest of security. The DMP Commissioner said, besides police, members of various intelligence agencies, including RAB, will remain on high alert to tackle any eventuality.
The very lax of Bangladesh's working in Malaysia are in extreme uncertainty for not getting new passports. The number of Bangladeshis working there without passport is over 4 lakh. To legalize this stay in the country, Bangladesh High Commission opened a passport office at Jalan Besar of Ampang Point in Kuala Lumpur on 10th of January and about 18,000 new passports have so been issued. However, officials allege that it is not being possible to work at desired speed owing to decision of High Commissioner Shohidu Islam. When contacted at the High Commission, his personal assistant informed that the envoy is now busy. Later, he talked over phone. Finally, news from abroad. Five women have been killed and five injured in a shooting at a church in Russia's volatile Republic of Dagestan. Two are said to be in a critical condition. The attacker, 22-year-old Khalil Khalilov, a resident of Dagestan, was shot and killed at the scene. The eye said it was behind the attack. And that's the end of this bulletin, Al Hafiz.